table, I got myself a, my own new phone, the Xiaomi Mi 6, to replace my Mi 5. Now, this is going to be a, quite a few different requirements, but I'm going to unlock the bootloader and then install Mi I UI EU. Now, you want to go into settings, about phone, scroll down to the Mi I UI version, and tap that about 10 times. That should unlock developer mode. Go into or make sure you've also logged in with your me account as well go into additional settings and develop and then developer mode enable OEM unlocking and also USB debugging so make sure you've got your me account installed and you've waited the correct amount of time for Xiaomi to unlock it which is on this phone 72 hours and then you're going to boot into fast boot mode by holding volume down and power when the device is off so it's still holding and bam we're in fast boot mode and the next requirement would need to be having installed called MIUI Unlocker which is avail available on the Xiaomi website once you're in fast boot mode connect it up with your Mi account entered in on the app on the computer and also logged in on your Xiaomi phone you should hopefully see a screen similar to this. So for me the unlock's been successful. And on the phone it says unlocked. From there I'm going to go straight back into fast boot mode and then I'm going to install twerp on this phone. I will have a link in the description on the version that I used and you'll be able to download it from there. You will also require to have a program called minimal ADB and fast boot. This is for a command prompt that you can enter everything in on. And right now I'm just typing in fast boot and then space devices just to make sure that the laptop is communicating to the phone. So I was typing in the wrong thing a few times here, which I was doing ADB devices, not fast boot devices. But once the phone shows up in the command prompt here, we'll be able to proceed onto the next step, which is installing twerp onto the recovery of the phone. So from here, I've got the phone talking or showing up in devices. So I'm going to go to my download of twerp. And then from there, I'm going to move it into the same directory as the executable for minimal ADB and fast boot. So from there I'm copying it, allowing it. Now I tend to re remove most of the writing out of it and just call it twerp or recovery.img. This is the website here that I downloaded the twerp from, which is for the MIUI 6. And then in here I'm just going to type in fast boot recovery or fast boot flash recovery and then I'm going to drop and drag the file under the executable and that will have the correct directory for it. Now I did do a typo here, retype it, hit enter and then from there it says sending files and basically sending files successfully. Now from here I'm going to turn the phone off, now that twerp's been successfully installed, and now I'm holding volume up and power, and as we see, twerp was successfully installed, now I'm going to swipe to unlock, swipe to allow mod modifications, first thing I'm going to do from there is go into wipe, do a full factory wipe on the phone, otherwise your install will fail. I usually do the other wipes that are available there as well. And then from here, I'm going to copy onto the phone, onto the internal storage of the phone. Uh, that's the MIUI EU ROM, which is available on here, which there will be a link in the description on either A, the direct download, or at least the location to get it from.
This is a relatively large file. I think it was around 1.4 gig in size. But yeah, I've been very happy with this ROM on my past phones. Currently, I'm using a similar version on my Mi i5. As you'll see, I'll copy over the file from there. Now from here, I do have a little bit of drama getting the phone to recognise the ROM being copied. But that's all, all, all okay. So next thing, I know the file is copied on there, the computer recognises it. I'm going to restart the phone, back into recovery, and then go to install it from there. Install, there we go. Yes, install. We'll wait a little bit of time, but we'll get there in a minute. like it's been successfully installed. I've got to restart the phone and then I'll give it a bit more time from there. Yeah, I have put the video in fast forward. I think roughly it took about two to five minutes to do this. And then once this is finished, the ROM is installed and you're right to go from there. I will just have a bit of a flick around on here just to show you what version it is. But overall it's installed fine. One advantage I do like with installing the EU ROM versus stock is that on the Mi 5 and Mi 6 you're able to do the full screen gestures which by default due to the screen resolution I believe that's not enabled. So from here I'll quickly uh, click through. All of this being very standard, very expected. see from here, there's now the EU version of the ROM installed, right now no updates due to no network, but overall very happy, it's been extremely smooth, so follow the steps and you should be able to hopefully do this to your phone as well. I choose to install the EU ROM, there's plenty of other ROMs out there, personally I'm happy with MIUI, so I'll be sticking with this one. 
But yeah, from there you're free to do whatever you like with your phone. Hope this has helped you, and any questions, comment below. Catch you in the next one.